What up, though? Welcome back. I want to thank you for tuning in again to Rap Talk, Rap Talk Poetry, Free Verse Video. And in this video, I'm just talk to y'all, kick a little game, and do a poem rendition or so. The Rap Talk way of Houdini song, Friends. Friends, how many of us have them? The ones we can depend on. That's classic material. I know some of y'all might remember that. Group Houdini, back in the day. I remember there was like a counterpart to run DMC to a certain extent. But this whole thing is about Houdini, so I want to just battle it out for a run DMC and Houdini. Cause that could be a whole other subject and topic right there. You know, that can be a versus in itself, you know. I think they always have probably had like a friendly competition to a certain extent, you know, being three a three a three man group with a DJ, two MCs and a DJ. So, you know, I'm pretty sure it was always that friendly competition back in the day, especially in the eighties. Run DMC and Houdini. But did just remember this song. Matter of fact, everybody, y'all go out and research this song. Check it out. Houdini Friends, definitely a classic. I remember, I remember hearing it as a youngin. And that's a time the subject also. Friends, that's a that's a good title to hit. That's a good, you know, that's forever. It's like the different ways they play it on the song as far as like talking about friends, you know, a male and a male. And and in the one of the verses, I think he more talking about well, he kind of reversed it in the end, talking about, you know, you falling in love, but you probably supposed to be friends first. You know, this value friendship. That's basically what the song was about, this value and a friendship. So it's like it just made you just look around and think to yourself, like, like friends, you know, how many do you really have? You know. Especially nowadays, I don't know how we come to this, but how so many of us in the world, we just feel like, how can I put this? I mean, I just noticed like so many people in this world right now just want to, they just feel so openly, how can I put it? It's like they so open to say how people are not their friends or how people ain't your friends and... I mean, it's like so many people just shun the word friend so much, you know. Don't get me wrong, I know it's different levels of friendship and being friends. And like you have associates and some people put so much in the narrative as friends. It's like some people hold it closer and some people push it further back and further away to where they don't even really just, ah, it's kind of hard to say, but what I'm basically going with this is so many people just outspoken of just of, of talking about like how they just don't have friends or how people ain't real friends or you know what I'm saying? You see all the time online, you see the bullshit. You see people saying like I ain't got no friends or if you was my real friend, you would just or oh, well, well, fuck everybody and all this stuff and but at the end of the day you want love. Like just shut the fuck up. You want some love, you want some attention, you want you have people around you. That they basically are your friends. And when we was kids, friends was people that you know. It's like it's like that whole mental just came as we just got older to where people just started just dissecting and going out their way of knowing people for so long and for so many years to where you just don't even value the friendship like that no more. You be like, no, oh, they ain't my friend, or I don't fuck with them more. Uh, I just don't I just don't really understand how that where that came from. I mean, if you're not just seeing eye to eye with a person at a time, I did that. Just, just lay low, get out the situation, and just, you know, let it simmer. But you know, but that's still your friend. I mean, I, I know, I know, it's definitely different for for women. You know, what I'm saying they, they, women is quick to say, "That ain't my friend." Fuck, fuck, fuck her. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, <laughs> let's jump back on the Houdini side of the game with friends. But even though it still was friends. Cause he bring he bring forward something like that in the song. That's why he say, 
with friends like that, you don't need enemies. You know what I'm saying? He talking about how the girl slept with the with the other girl man. You know what I'm saying? She brought her around, like she brought her around her man and stuff like that. Stuff like that still to go on today, which is a sad situation. You know, people just don't be friends. I guess it do come back full circle to that. Because real friends won't do certain things. But at the same time, I think we do like expect so much out of other people to where you feel like, okay, well, it, got, it kind of goes back to that entitlement thing I talked about in a couple past videos. You know, people feel entitled to where, you know, like, if you my friend, you supposed to do this. If you my friend, you wouldn't do that, which I get, but I mean, as time goes on, you like know somebody so much, you expect certain things from them and you just think certain things they won't do. But at the end of the day, that's what they say. At the end of the day, <laughs> these are the people that we call friends, you know? But this song came out what? 84, 84, something like that off the Escape album, Friends. It's just, you know, it's classic material. You know, Houdini, they was doing their thing. They was they was hitting subjects also, you know, with the one love, all that. I just I just I just kinda always just felt for Houdini, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's like that shadow of Run DMC kinda I mean, we we know it's there. It's kinda like hand in hand. You talk about one, you kinda gotta talk about the other, you know, because it's all hip hop. You know, we was we was too in the few with, with, with the music that was coming out. You know what I'm saying? It, we want to flutter like this to where it's 50,000 albums coming out every Friday. You know what I'm saying? It was spaced out, you know? And if you had a couple of tapes that would circulate, look, I'm talking about tapes. <laughs> you know, that's old school. Some of y'all don't even know what tapes is. So, showing my age. But did. But back, back then, you know, you had a couple albums. If, the, if even if an album came out within the, within the same two months or within three months apart, they'd probably still get compared because, like I say, albums weren't dropping like that. You would have this Run DMC flourish, and then you had this Houdini album come out, and then you bumping both of them. They they gonna get you through the whole summer, you know, until LL and Big Daddy Kane come out later on in the year, if they come out that same year. <laughs> But definitely go research this song. I just, matter of fact, this poem I'm gonna do, I ain't gonna even lie to y'all. This one, I just, I'm just gonna do this on the top of the head. You know, I'm just gonna just cook something up real quick. Just, just skate something in my head. You know, just think about a couple of lyrics and just think about situations and just talk about friends. Do this off the top of the head, man. It's free verse, free verse poetry. Spoken word, just have a little bit of fun with it, you know? Sometimes you got to test that brain to see what you can do real quick. I appreciate you for tuning in. Go check out that Houdini album, that Escape, that Houdini, that Friends, that song. Oh, real quick, though. <laughs> no, I ain't going to bring that up. I was thinking about that, uh, and, uh, what was that, Friday, Friday, when, they, when he had them tied up. <laughs> he had them tied up in the crib, and uh, they just cut to that scene, and he just, and uh and uh day day and, and uh they come off friends. How many of us <laughs> trying to talk them out of uh spanking them up and killing them, you know, we say getting rid of them or whatever. Then he just smacked the shit out. Then just smack him and he say, Shut the fuck up. It's like I don't even like who <laughs> Oh man, that was funny, man. That's a classy movie though. And sidebar real quick, I'm gonna just throw this in here. I'll be thinking so I'll be thinking so much. If you notice, I don't know how many I don't know how many of y'all peep this, but if you notice, like like in what what sequel was that when that happened? So I guess that was part two, Friday at the next when that happened. If you notice, it's a real intricate little small little detail. But if you notice in the next one. They kind of like made up for that, for that scene, because it was like I remember it was like a party or something, and it was another guy, and he said he he threw a line in like uh Houdini boom 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 freeze come out at night, you know what I'm saying? I could tell some probably 
I'm thinking a lot, but you can tell something probably happened in between, and they probably ran into Houdini somewhere or something. Or, you know what I'm saying? Probably had some friendly little words, and they probably just made it up, made it up to them in the next movie. You know what I'm saying? It's just some little shit. I, it's kind of it's just some little shit I had caught. But anyway, don't worry about all that. It is what it is. I'm talking shit. I thank y'all for tuning in, man. Check out this poem. I'm about to do it off the top of the head, man. Let's have some fun. Let's kicking it with y'all, man. Rap talk. Friends. How many of us have them? Friends. How many this week we gonna lose? How many we gonna fall out with over some bullshit? Hmm. Some come and go. And then again, that son we wish we never known before come in handy. It all started out as being young kids playing with candy. Hmm. Hopefully you understand me. But what we gonna do when times get hard? Is they gonna ball up and fold up? Or if you need them for that call in the middle of the night, is they really gonna show up? Hmm. Some didn't even grow up. Some still acting like kids, not even young adults. Going through the same phases of the same bullshit over petty little things keep saying it's your fault. Mm -hmm. And then there's some to wish you never knew at all. And this list goes on. Again and again. But these are the people that we call friends. Friends. How many of us have them? Friends. The ones we can depend on. I'm gonna call you up in the middle of the night. I'm gonna tell my problems. I care about you so much, I don't even care if you can solve them. I just want someone to listen. I just want someone to pay attention. I just want someone to talk to so I can express my inner visions. Friends, it ain't about money. It ain't about success. It's about being there from someone. I mean, the whole conquest, no contest, no competition. We in this together. Friends, real friendships last forever. Rap talk.